Hello! Welcome to the wonderful world of tabletop gaming. My name is Mark and I'll be your dungeon master. Usually you'll find me wandering the hallowed halls of Blanchardstown Library, but like most of you, I'm at home at the moment. That doesn't mean the fun has to stop. If you've ever wanted to learn more about Dungeons and Dragons, this is your chance. We have two introductory sessions starting next week, one for adults, one for ages 8 to 12. You get to create your own D&D character and delve into your first adventure. I will be using the Stranger Things starter set. That's it there. Back to front. I'm playing online over Discord. Uh, each session will last for four weeks with adult games on Mondays at half six and junior adventures on Wednesdays at five. It will play for 90 minutes each time. D&D is a fairly complex game. There are over a thousand pages of official rules, like this one. Monster manual showing what you're going to fight. My personal favourite, Dungeon Master's Guide. And, of course, the classic player's handbook. Uh, the good news is, you don't need to know all that. The best way to learn the game is to play it. Once you've done these sessions, you'll be able to take your character into any game and join in. D&D community is worldwide, but more importantly, it's local too. Dublin has a thriving and supportive network of players, and there are new games happening all the time. Be warned though, once you start playing, you may never want to stop. What is D&D? Well, it's primarily a fantasy roleplay game. It entails collaborative storytelling. It's like an improvised play. There's a loose script with the dungeon master as director, Players have to inhabit the character they're playing. It's like acting for people like me who can't act. You can chew the scenery up and everyone just thinks it's great crack. D&D is an excuse to get together, socialising and letting loose, being silly and living out an adventure. It's essentially a play date for nerds. These online sessions are part of Fingal Library's Keep Well campaign this winter. The social and therapeutic use of tabletop role-playing games is well established and with the peculiarity of lockdown, people have social needs. Gaming promotes community, especially when playing with people you don't know. It prevents against isolation and all our games are sensory friendly and inclusive. Sensory friendly, what does that entail? Well, I made maps and 3D printed figures for visual stimulation when we play games in the library, but they were hardly needed. The key thing with D&D is that it's played in the imagination, so everyone can shape the game into what they want it to be. It's easy to be sensory inclusive. Just be kind and include everyone. Make sure everyone knows they're welcome and free to tell you their needs. Families with special needs often have to ring up for events like this and check that their child is able to attend. If you set out from the start that your event is sensory friendly, they don't need to have that reserve. They know that their child is welcome here. It's so easy to be sensory friendly and Fingal Libraries are leading the way on that. Remember, it's the role playing and staying true to your character that's important in D&D. Once you've created your basic character template, you can think of things like how will this person manifest themselves, your voice, your mannerisms, your general attitude. Imagine having a conversation with your own character. How would they interact with you and with others? This will be the main part of your game. And once you have an understanding of your character's basic instincts, you might find out surprising things as your character reacts to the world around them and the situations they find themselves in. About the character and about yourself too. This is the real magic of D&D, so get your friends together or join an existing group and let the games begin. If you've made it this far and you're keen to start adventuring, then drop me an email on blanchlibrary at fingal.ie. We've been running games in the branch for 8 to 12 year olds and I know we can't run events in person during COVID-19, we can do online games. So get in touch by email or on social media and we'll get you started. I have games for children, teenagers and adults available. So include your age if you're under 18 and your library membership number, which you can find your library card. Don't forget to like and subscribe Fingal Libraries on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube and Instagram.